then I go on Housewives, and then it would, like went downhill. The real story is one of the women felt like I was taking her thunder. I just let her walk all over me. That was Bethany. Right. And Bethany would, would cut you off and put a one-liner at the end to make right. you look like you were cuckoo, right? right. Mm. Exactly. Okay. I went on camera, and she attacked me. And then her whole strategy was to like not film with me. And then when she wanted to film with me, she was either super aggressive or passive aggressive. Right. She would make it like Kelly was on the spectrum. Like right. it was one of those. And then after Housewives, you know, people got really weird. They were like, are you really crazy? What's oh, going on with I you? I started believing this. A lot of damage was done. I was like, whoa. So your reputation on Housewives was completely ruined. Oh boy, nothing like a little housewife <laughs> drama to keep matchmaker Patty Stanger and her team of experts very busy. The WeTV <laughs> hit million dollar matchmaker is back for another episode of Tears, Laughs, and OMG Moments. Yeah, definitely. And joining us live to break it all down is former Real Housewives of New York City star Kelly Ben Simone. Hi, how are you? Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for, for being having here. me. We were just talking about this, and I'm, I'm so excited to kind of dive in. One of the reasons you came to the Millionaires Club was to regain your confidence, kind of dispel the whole crazy Kelly reputation, right? It's been like seven years since you were on The Housewives. Why, why was it so hard for you to move on from that part of your life or that perception, do you think? It was really hard to move on just because every time that I would, you know, go to do something, there would be these roadblocks. They're like, oh, well, you're, you know, kind of crazy. You have a bad reputation. And, you know, I've been living in New York, working as a model, working in the fashion industry for the lexicon of my life. You know, I've written seven novels. I have half of an MBA. Like, I have things. a lot yeah. of things going on. Besides the whole and everyone would though, be right. like, oh, well, aren't you like this? And, you know, that kind of was, that was really, you know, like bad news, especially, you know, I'm a single, full-time single parent, you know, raising my daughters, you know, I'm the money. There's no, like, you know, trees where you, like, pull dollar bills <laughs> off of. And so I was just kind of, you know, it was really, really difficult to, you know, try to rebuild from that, even though I had all these amazing things that I was working on. Right. Um, and so when Patty said, I want you to come on the show, you know, I was scared. Yeah. yeah. What were your reservations? Because you had this negative stint on The Housewives and now you're going back, so. Right, so I had this, you know, horrible experience when I was on Housewives. And so, you know, she was like, it's gonna be great. You know, you have me. And I'm just like, you know, are the fans gonna still believe, you know, this, this you know, stigma and that, you know, the things that happened in the past. And she's like, let's go and try this out. And I had the best time. <laughs> you really did. I mean, we were talking before you started. You really did seem to have so you much can fun. Tell what and Patty, Patty has been in here many times, and she's known for her sort of say it like you mean it attitude when it yes. comes to doling out relationship advice. Yeah. What was the hardest uh, thing for you to, uh, to I, I guess, take from her, or the biggest challenge about the experience? You know, just to get over my insecurity, I think yeah. was the hardest. And you know, she's tough love, which I really, really admire. And you know, a lot of people were like, no, 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 it's fine. She's like, no, let's figure this out. Let's, you know, show these fans who you really are. And, you know, I just felt so good. Mm -hmm. You know, I was there the entire time by myself. I wasn't drinking. I was eating tofu the to all the time. I was running every day. I mean, I was Look on it. like serious boot camp. <laughs> yeah. And I left LA just feeling gorgeous. I was like, hey, yeah. I was like, I had the good best. To go. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I love that you had a great time. Now, without revealing too much, do, do you have a happy ending here? Can you, I'm like, what? Hey, I was just asking I a question. You were the one that the brought moment. that in. Did I have a happy ending? Mean? I mean, <laughs> what's, your relationship, you? what's your relationship status now? <laughs> my relationship status right now is that I am in love with myself, yeah. which is like so, so good. I okay. mean, before I was so insecure and I was so negative about myself and I just feel really, really, really good. And you know, when you know, good begets good. When you feel good about yourself, good things happen. And, and that's that, where I am mm -hmm. right now.